What's up everybody? So I've reviewed all these cases and the screen protector. I'm going to try them all out on my wife's 12 Pro. Let's check it out. So my wife has a 12 Pro Max that I got her uh, about halfway through the cycle. And I've gotten a few people, Cesar Delgado, I'm talking to you, asking if some of the accessories fit on the 12. So I figured rather than just answer him directly, I'd use this opportunity to kind of try a few things. So she had a busted screen protector. So I'm going to see if the tempered glass screen protector with privacy built into it from Jet Tech for the iPhone 13 Pro Max will fit on her phone. I'm pretty confident it will. Um, her screen protector is pretty busted. So let's give this a shot. I've already reviewed this. I'll throw a card somewhere over there. Um, super inexpensive case uh, um, uh, screen protector. I don't remember exactly what they cost, but they're super affordable and it comes with two of them. What I really like about this screen protector is how they package everything. So obviously, like I said, there's two screen protectors in there and everything for each screen protector comes in a little bag like this. One of these bags full of all the stuff for each, I should say. Um, we got the hinges and stuff like that to apply it. The little chamois cloth thingamajig microfiber that I just used a minute ago and a wet alcohol wipe to get all the smudges off. So um, for what you're paying for it, it's pretty hard to complain about these screen protectors. So now if you haven't used one of these before, you can see once you go a little off angle, you can't really see through it. Um, I totally thought I would be annoyed by it, to be completely honest, but it's growing on me quite a bit. And um, I haven't had the urge or need to change it out. So yes, if you want to know if the Jet Tech tempered glass screen protector with privacy for the iPhone 13 Pro fits on your 12 Pro. Sure does. Cool. All right, so now what I did here is I arranged all my cases from the least protecting but best looking, <laughs> in my opinion, this one looks really great, all the way up to my fanciest, most protecting, the UAG case we'll get to here at the end. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're all going to fit if one fits, but I figured it can't hurt to try them all on to see how well and how tight they fit. So this is the Pataka Air case. Again, this is for the 13 Pro. Um, my wife has used this one a little bit on here. It's always a little weird putting this case on. It feels like the case is gonna break, um, but it actually fits pretty well. No issues getting it on there aside from the case being a little bit dirty. Um, it feels good. It's very hard to notice, but it feels a little bit loose in there. I do have the little sponges in there to take up the extra space but if you can hear there's a little play um so it fits but it's not exactly perfect uh i'd give that like an eight out of ten with how good it fits on there okay so our next case we have here is the speed the speaking liquid air case i like this one a lot i keep coming back to this one i want something light and smooth um portable that also offers some protection that's not as big and bulky as some of the other cases. This fits on here perfectly. Uh, it goes on really quickly. It looks good. You can get to, you can use all the buttons, all the rockers, all that stuff, no problem. The cutouts line up, obviously, uh, and it doesn't interfere with the screen protector. Give this one, I'd say, there's no play in the back. 10 out of 10. It fits good. You're not going to have any problems. If you have the 13 Pro case, the speaking liquid air, it will fit on your 12 Pro Max as well. Next, my wife's been rocking this one for quite a while. This is the Otterbox Symmetry case. This is actually made for the 12 Pro, but also fits on the 13 Pro. So that goes on with no problem. As a matter of fact, I think it goes on a little easier than the it goes on the 13 Pro. Whew, she tight though. The next one we have here is the Otterbox uh, commuter case. This is a really cool case. I like this one a lot. Some of the things I've pointed out before that I do like about this case. 
are the cutouts in the outer shell. The plastic inner shell reaches through, kind of making it so it's a little bit more stable when you lay it down on the, on the table. And it's not as prone to fall out of your pocket because it's not completely slippery. But let's put it on see what it looks like. So this goes on really well. Um, doesn't interfere with the screen protector. Um, there's no play. You can't feel it moving around. The cutouts are accessible. All the buttons are clicky. And you can get through to the cutout, no problem. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for fits perfectly. Moving on to the next case, um, I was quite a fan or quite surprised by this one. This is the knockoff Defender uh, case. My wife did use this a little bit on her phone and she did not have any problems with it. She actually liked it. She preferred it over the real outer box. But let's put it on and see how it feels. So the inner shell goes on no problem. The outer cover goes right over that as well. And it's good to go. The buttons all click. You can get to the ports, no problem. This one's a little tough to get to the ports down bottom. If you're gonna buy this case, save yourself some frustration, clip that bottom part off. I find if you grab like a toenail clipper or something like that, it clips right off. But other than that, fits really good. Doesn't feel loose or anything in there. Um, give that one a 10 out of 10 as well. So the next case we're gonna try is the Autobox Defender. This thing is uh, one of my favorite cases. I really like it a lot. I feel it's definitely a step up as far as uh, materials and it just feels, I don't know, I keep going back and forth. The knockoff version of this is great, um, but obviously these guys created the, the, the overall design and aesthetic that the other case is mimicking. So I kind of like to stick to the true uh, creators of a product. A lot of our time goes into the uh, R&D and creating stuff like this and for some random company to come by and profit off their design is kind of messed up if you ask me but I'm not hating if you got that cheap phone you need to save some money you got that cheap case and you want to save some cash totally get it not a big deal not hating um, I don't like the back of this one so much but it does feel really good um, and it fits on this phone no problem whatsoever all the buttons click the optics are good Fitment, 10 out of 10. If you have the Autobox Defender Pro case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it will fit on your 12 Pro Max without an issue. So the next case we're going to try is the Defender Pro XT. This is my least favorite case to take apart. Um, I go back and forth on it. I, it. I didn't like it when I first got it, and then it grew on me, and now I'm like, no desire to use it. But let's try it out and see how well it fits on the 12. So it goes on with the same grace as it does with the 13 Pro. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But once it gets on there, it is definitely tight. It's the tightest out of all of them so far. Uh, no issues with it moving around inside the case. Looks good. Plenty of clearance. Obviously, the camera bump is small on the 12 Pro. So if it fits the 13 Pro, it's going to fit this thing is what I'm basically coming to realize. Um, everything's accessible. Everything's clicky, and you're good to go. 10 out of 10 for fitment, no problem. And last but not least, one of my new favorites, the UAG Monarch Kevlar case. This thing is super cool. Uh, you might have seen the video where I unboxed it previously where I said I wasn't that into it at first, but then changed my mind. I really do like this case a lot. It fits very well on my 13 Pro. Let's see how well it fits on the 12 Pro. like a glove no issue whatsoever doesn't feel like it's moving around inside the case it's not coming out um, plenty of clearance obviously it's very similar in size to the 13 Pro the rockers you can get to without a problem buttons are all clicky 
and it fits. So if you are, were wondering if all of the cases I've been unboxing fit on the 12 Pro when they were designed for the 13 Pro, the answer is if you have a 13 Pro case and you're looking to put it on a 12 Pro and you're worried, stop worrying, it's gonna fit. You won't have a problem. I wonder if I should give away some of these. What do you think? Do people do that? Um, I think maybe we'll do something along those lines. I have too many cases. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like some of these cases. If you think I should give them away. And if I did give them away, which one you'd want. So thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate the uh, subscription. Thumbs up works. So does the thumbs down. And give me some feedback. I want some more things to unbox and review. Um, but I'm running out of ideas. So hook me up. Give me some ideas. Peace out.